everything was messed up. My introduction, the sound. Yeah. I'm sorry, what the heck, Mel Sock? Is that a Gundam now? <laughs> Very bottleneck for the win. Tails looks a little sleepy there. Mm. Eight emeralds, okay. Yeah, sure, why not? Such a 90s Sega game. Yeah, seriously. Uh, I'm Super Mario Sonic Lover, and uh, I am tired. Yeah, the, we were um, tried doing a uh, take earlier, and um, yeah, let's just let's just say things didn't turn out so well, and uh, we're going we're doing going back to the start, redoing everything, and. Um, we are just sunk the fighters. <laughs> oh man. So, do you have any experiences with this game? No, never played it. Okay. Yeah, the. So, basically, I guess, like, just go general rundown of how the game plays. Um, for. I'm using the. I'm playing on this on the GameCube through Gems Collection. So, um, A is punt, re like, regular punches, B is your barrier, X is triple, like, a kick combo, and Y is a super kick. Um, and, like, if you just, if you press the buttons while holding the control stick in specific directions and stuff, uh, you do different moves. Um, like, I don't know, like, everything you can do, but, you know, that's quite a lot. Yeah. Have you ever played Virtua Fighter, Harry? Um, I remember playing a fighting game with Joey uh, at a, a convention one time. Um, and I remember- it was like really old school kind of, um, design. Like, I had a controller and everything. I don't know if it was Virtua Fighter though. Virtua Fighter. Was there a ninja character in, like, dark blue? I don't remember. <laughs> And Thong's now here to commit domestic abuse. Yep. Ha, ah, dang, that looks painful. Yeah. So I'm using Sonic because uh, he's... He, uh... If she managed to get to the second round of Metal Sonic without losing a single round, you can play as a Super Sonic. So I'm gonna try doing that. But if I don't, whatever. Yeah, uh... The characters have specific strategies. Um, Amy likes to use the barriers a lot. So watch out for that. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> well then, it's like playing Burst of Fire with Roger Rabbit physics. Yeah. Uh, is there... So you, you, have you, you played Virtual Fire, right? Well, I played the Virtual Fighter 5. Right, how does it, how's that uh, work compared to this game? Um, aside from being a 3D fighter, I think they're pretty different, like... Uh, okay. I think this one, I think this is a lot faster than most virtual fighters. Hmm. This is the only, like, fighting game I played that's kind of like this. Like, not one-on-one, -on -one, obviously, but, like, where you're like, in a boxed arena. The well, closest thing is... Hmm. Closest thing is game, wait, thing this game had to a sequel was Fighters Mega Mix, mm. which featured some of the original characters created for this game. Yeah, like Park the Polar Bear here, like he uh, doesn't really necessarily appear in uh, another Sonic game until Mania, uh, outside of cameos. Sonic has always had a lot of friends. Yeah. Well, this guy isn't really a friend per se, because he's trying to kick his, kick our butts. Yeah, bark hurts a lot, by the way, so watch it. If 
surprised there's no voice acting in this game. Oh yeah, that's true. But yeah, like, generally, like, uh, if we're just gonna... Might as well just talk about the plot. It's mostly just what you need to see in the cutscene. Eggman, or Roboto Nick, as the game calls him, uh, made another death egg. We gotta make... We gotta get eight Chaos Emeralds. Because apparently there's eight now. And, uh... To do that, we had to beat everyone up for some reason. <laughs> like, I don't know why they don't just come to an agreement and just go like, okay, you're the one that has that, um, uh, I don't know. I guess that it's, the idea is that they're having s some kind of tournament kind of thing to see see who uh, is worthy to uh, go to the death egg. But, I don't know. It's just kind of humorous. That we uh, had to beat everyone up for the emeralds. I don't really consider this game canon though, it doesn't really add up. Especially if you consider. Especially if you fit. If you um, put Sonic 4 into the canon. I did think of one thing though, uh, you know how Sonic in Sonic 06 you go like, you do time travel nonsense uh, and Silver gives at least the blue emerald? Scrappy? Okay we're back. Connection issues and crap. <laughs> I just can't anymore, I'm sorry. Th th this playthrough is a mess. <laughs> uh, I remember what I was uh, gonna say now. Uh, you remember in... You know in how in 06, um, they go to the past in that one part of the game and Silver gives at least the dark blue emerald or whatever? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm wondering, like... Mm, I need to try and... Uh, Gather my thoughts of this. Uh, so Silver came from the future and gave um, at least that blue emerald, but there's no nothing to say like there's not already an emerald like that in the past. So I'm wondering, wondering if uh, Silver doing that made it so there's two blue emeralds. Sonic 06 is a cluster frenzy. Yeah, so like that's the only way I can see eight emeralds being a thing. <laughs> yeah, okay, Fang. Like, Knack, Fang, either way. I think Knack's his real name. Yeah, just spin dash him because he likes to shoot you a lot and uh, the spin dash uh, ignores it. Like, if you try to fight him head on, then you're just... You're gonna be in for a bad, in for a bad time, I guess. <laughs> so, spinning... That's that, okay. Yep. Yeah, if you don't know this strategy, then he's one of the worst characters to go up against. Uh... He, oh, yeah, one, one thing I forgot to mention. Uh, if you press L, right, right against uh, your opponent, you grab them and do a special move or whatever. Alright, Bean's a bit Bean tricky. Dynamite. What, who named these characters? Yeah. <laughs> we can do this all day. Dang it. Wah. Wah. There we go. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know how you're supposed to do that, like, where you, like, move around your, your opponent like that. Dang it. No! Alright, we can't get supersonic anymore. It's like... Alright. So if I do this... Black. Yeah, if you uh, press, um, left A and X at the same time, you go into a hyper mode state for, like, a few seconds. It uses up a barrier, and I think if you use that, it cancels out you being able to get supersonic, so that's why I didn't use it. 
But now that I can't get him, it doesn't matter. Dang it. Yeah, this is where the difficulty kind of spikes a bit. And I don't know, like, every move, so... Like, there's this move where, like, your Sonic, uh... It, it's like... Ow. I'm sorry, is that a duck or a woodpecker? <laughs> yeah, seriously. But, like... Yeah, I don't know every move in this game, I only know the basic stuff. Really. Which is, general... Most of the time, it's good enough to, for you to get through, but... Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, come on. That was a waste of a hyper. Yeah, she looked in the in the barrier thing as well. I think you have to wait until the the things took turn blue again before you can use it again, uh, another time. And obviously, if you don't have any barriers left, you can't use it. You can't use hyper mode. Now, can you please just die? There we go. Suck my blue spears, duck! Yeah. <laughs> now we have to fight ourselves. Look, a giant talking egg! Yeah. <laughs> giant wing. Yep. Descriptive. Yeah. I really wish I knew how to do that. Oh, whatever. Yeah, the problem with hyper mode is that you can't break barriers anymore. So, you might just be kind of hitting nothing. Nice. Dang. Games like these that make me wonder what the what a 3D Sonic on Saturn would look like. Yeah. You can actually make it so the characters fall out of the arena. Um like after a finishing blow. It's kinda of funny. They just kinda of phase through the floor. I am bad. There we go. Right, I'm worried about this next one. Because Metal Sonic is rough. This game has more story than Virtua Fighter. <laughs> well, in a game like that, is it just like arcade mode and just fight a bunch of random people? that and then get your endings. Yeah. And it's as you'd expect. It's a story about an evil corporation who does nebulous stuff that no one ever really bothers to describe. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Metal Sonic is by all intents and purposes uh, the final boss in the game because he's really hard. He hurts like hell and um, yeah, he takes a lot of punishment. So good luck. And he has a few moves from uh, the other characters. I don't really have a good strategy for this guy. Oh, his copy, his copy ability, uh, ability copying was already known in this game. Kinda, yeah. Oh my goodness, this is way too close. I'm dead. Oh. I'm so dead. Okay. There is a fight after this, but it's ridiculously easy. So. 
I think there's a, a trick, you, a, like a cheat. Yeah, that moves nasty. Uh, a trick you can do in the character selection where you can play as uh, um, Metal Sonic. I don't remember what it is, though. Suck my blue spears fleshy. <laughs> I really love the music in this fight, though. Th this and the uh, Sonic fight have the best music in the game, I think. That last is like half your health, it's ridiculous. The 90s fighting game bosses were not meant to be plausible. Yeah, because it's like one of those things where like it wants to eat up your money. So they had to make it, yeah, to make it as unfair as possible. Ah. So um, I guess I talk about something. What what's your opinion on Metal Sonic as a character? I guess. Scary as hell in Sonic Heroes. Yeah. <laughs> Cheap as heck in Sonic Adventure Two. Yeah. My brother always picked him and abused that never-ending shield. Yeah. Cause like, that thing gives you like ridiculous acceleration, and doesn't it like nullify the um... super attacks? Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. Does. Yeah. Though to compensate, he doesn't get he doesn't get any super attacks of his own. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, come on. Yay! Yes! <laughs> Just wailing on him after. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you have to be quick with this though, because if you actually fell before... If you don't beat Eggman before the time runs out, then the game just kind of ends. So, um... He's actually trying to kill you? <laughs> yeah. So just kind of mash the attack button. Like, I don't like being fancy for this. Die, please. There we go. And we won the game! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yeah, Eggman himself isn't really a threat, you just have to beat him really fast. I'm gonna get ready for an amazing explosion effect. My eyes! 32-bit <laughs> carnage. Yeah. Look at those textures on the ship. Yeah. Or lack thereof. <laughs> yeah, that's a game. <laughs> yeah, it's not really a long game. Uh, it's an arcade fire, so you kind of expect as much. But setting up, getting this game set up took longer than playing it. Yeah, like we spent like an hour just trying to make everything work, and that's not even counting our failed take. But the game itself is like 20, 30 minutes, if even that. But yeah, it's a it's a fun enough uh, fighting game. Um, I I wish it did a better. It, I wish the um the 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 way it t t uh, tells you the controls like is kind of is kind of annoying because like when you look at the uh, menu for each character, it says. It says like P for punch and K for kicks, and doesn't just say what button you need to press, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, uh, Yuki produced this. Yeah. He worked on Virtual Fighter. Yeah. But no, this is a fun game to pick up and play. Uh, like just mess around with friends and all that. Um, and the characters are diverse enough uh, for you to try different things out. 
Yeah. <laughs> and then the game just kind of ends. <laughs> Yay. Uh, what do you think about the game? It's a cute little spin-off. Yeah, it's harmless. Not sure if I'd call it competitively viable, but I don't play. <laughs> I don't play fighting games for, for that. Again, what yeah. is love with that? Yeah, that is a weird thing. Cause that that just shows up in the intro. And these robots don't mean anything because they're not part of the actual game. This is a game that could have only existed in the 90s when Sonic was, like, omnipresent. Yeah. I, I kind of miss that. <laughs> mm. Sonic is in a weird place in today's age. Like... Like, back in the, back in the day, like, Sonic was, like, known everywhere. He's still well known, but uh, like back then, it was like it was like all over the place. Yeah. Uh, That's probably like that. My friend was the phenomenon. That was that, that was that was something like Pokemon, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Sonic. Those were the franchises that just kind of blew up in the nineties for a while. Yeah. And as a result, they got a lot of material made, a little bit better than others. Yeah. So I'd say it falls into the okay category. Yeah. I guess, like, when you have a, ser a, a series that lasts, like, 25 years or whatever, you're, there's gonna eventually be some duds. And, um, you know, not everything can be a hurt. Oh, yeah, there's a Super Sonic thing. Um, but, uh, yeah, th this was just kind of a one-off thing, um, because uh, the next, um, major Tuesday-Thursday game is actually going to be Spyro 2, which is going to be a lot longer, um, so hopefully we can get sword on, started on that soon, so, um, yeah, Sonic the Fires, closing words, fun, fun game, harmless spin-off, um, the characters are diverse enough for you to experiment, like I said, and, um... Yeah, no, it's fun. I ain't got really much else to say besides that. Nice and colorful. Yeah. Yeah, anything else you want to say? This game is so non-canon, it hurts. Yeah. Yeah, this... I, I, I don't consider this game canon. It doesn't add up. Especially... Especially if you put Sonic 4. Into the mix, where there's already a defect to the... I don't know. But... Sleepy uh, Tales is the best tales. Yeah. I guess we're... I guess that's gonna be it then, so, um... Yeah, thanks for watching, um... Sonic the Force Unleashed. Because... I don't, I don't even know. Because <laughs> both games aren't, are seriously non-canon. To the respective universes. Um, <laughs> as much as it hurts, because I like Force Unleashed story. Oh, uh, I, like that game. I I ought to do that for the channel someday. Um, regardless, um, I've been Super Mario Sonic Lover. I'm Scrappy the fan. And uh, we'll see you very soon for Spyro 2, so we'll see you guys then.